Hello everyone. Hi guys. Today is construction day 42 and we are here below our property uh, by the uh, pineapple farms. Yeah, there's a pineapple farm guys uh, right below our property and I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, you guys know that we poured our pool yesterday. A uh, little bit challenging, but we got through it. Uh, all good. Uh, came in this morning and uh, it looks real good. Uh, no rain last night. And uh, it is cloudy today, which is a good thing for uh, concrete to cure. Um, a little bit of showers this morning, uh, not much to speak of, just a little sprinkle. And then it stopped already, and now it's getting uh, pretty humid. Uh, but uh, let's get up to the work site. And, uh, but before I do so, and uh, you can see uh, that's our property there, the work site. And this is the green space in front of our property. And uh, the owner has a little pineapple farm here. So uh, he has given us uh, a few pineapples from time to time. And uh, they're very sweet. Um, they taste great. And they're great if you uh, put them in a blender uh, with a little, uh, little vodka. Uh, so uh, this is the pineapple farm. And you can see uh, it's a little different look. You can see the, uh, the work site. So let's get up there and see what's going on. So last night I received an email uh, from a new subscriber. I didn't recognize the name, so I'm assuming it's a new subscriber. And they said, hey, could you just uh, do a quick recap of the property, uh, a little bit about your story, um, and then the story of, uh, of how you got to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that uh, uh, as quick as I can. So first, here's the boss. You can see she's wearing her uh, Aussie hat today. A uh, little cloudy today, a uh, chance of showers. Uh, so we'll see uh, how that plays out. But uh, Wilma and I uh, moved here in July of 2021. Uh, we retired to the Philippines. And uh, I was uh, from the US, basically from New York or New Jersey. I lived in both states uh, my entire life. We met in the US and Wilma was uh, in the U.S. for 28 years and uh, she's a dual citizen so she's an American citizen as well as a Philippine citizen so she has a dual citizenship and uh, here we are um, in August of uh, 22 uh, building a home so uh, we bought this property in April of 22 we were here in March we looked for homes and, and property uh, then we went back to Leyte because that's where uh, Wilma grew up in Leyte and she has a home in Leyte and that's where we retired to in July of uh, 21 and uh, We came out here in March Didn't find anything went back to Leyte and then uh, about a month later uh, Came back to uh, Negros because we really like the Dumaguete area and uh, we found this property and uh, We jumped on it and I got our deed of sale and uh, now we're, uh, what, day 42 uh, of our house build. So uh, it's moving along uh, pretty quick. So uh, the property itself is uh, 1,100 square meters. Um, and you can see uh, that the roadway here um, is lower than the property. That was one of the things that we were really shooting for. Um, with all the typhoons and the rainy season, we wanted our house to be high. And we wanted the road to be the low point, so the water would all run away. So uh, when we uh, saw this property, we said this is the one, and uh, you know we made an offer and it was accepted. <clears throat> so uh, again, we're at day 42. Um, you can see that they uh, have the fence, uh, a good start on the fence, and then you can see where they're at with the home. And I'll take a walk up there. Um, there's a lot of rock on this property, um, so uh, we had to bring in an excavator, and that was an additional cost that wasn't originally budgeted, um, but we uh, made pretty quick work. We did basically all the excavation in seven work days. Uh, it took about 14 calendar days because of the excavator breaking down a few times, uh, but there was some very large rocks on this property that some of the rocks we uh, had removed from the property and then a lot of the rocks we kept for, uh, for landscaping. And you can see 
the uh, very large rock wall that we created with uh, some of the rocks. But uh, they're really uh, making progress here. And as I walk up the driveway, and a lot of you guys have seen this on prior videos, but uh, you know, this is going to be uh, Wilma's garden area. Then it transitions to the rock wall. And then uh, that opening in a rock wall will be concrete steps going up to the pool area. And uh, you can see how the driveway really starts sloping up. And then it transitions to the uh, pool area, which is a lot of work to be done here. But we wanted this to be as level as possible and as high up as possible to the house. And then you can see uh, that we placed a home in the back of the property. And there's a story on that, which I'll be telling uh, later on in this video. Uh, the carport is going to be here to the left. There will be a pergola to the right, which you can't see because they didn't start that construction yet. And uh, that's basically uh, the story. So a subscriber asked to put something together in uh, a few minutes, five or six minutes. And uh, it's just on five minutes now. So this is the uh, morning after the pour. Uh, so I uh, had a chance to set up uh, overnight. Um, the good news is uh, it's been cloudy, but it did not rain last night. So uh, we, got, we got lucky there. Uh, so I had a chance uh, to be out of the sun as well as out of the rain. Uh, overnight and uh, today it's a 40% chance of showers uh, so uh, there's a chance um, but it's like I said it's set up uh, overnight so they went back through and here's an example I'll zoom in this a little bit here's an example of uh, how they smoothed it out a second time so they worked the concrete uh, twice after the initial pour um, so now it's uh, sitting under tarp uh, what they're going to do today is they're going to pull uh, the tarp off and uh, put some water on it, some spray some water uh, to slow the curing down. Uh, again, we're lucky uh, because it's uh, no direct sun today, at least not yet. Uh, it's cloudy, which is, uh, I think, always better for concrete to cure slowly. Um, but it's going to need some water here at some point. So uh, we'll keep it covered for now. And then... Uh, We'll be putting some water on it uh, throughout the day. So now you know uh, how Sandy got her name. Uh, whenever we get a load of sand, um, she always uh, lays in it. Uh, she's the only dog that does it. A few, you know, they'll walk on it, but uh, for some reason, Sandy loves to lay on sand. So uh, she's a sandy color, as well as uh, she likes uh, laying in the sand. Okay, so now that the pool is poured, um, they're switching their manpower over to the beams and columns. So uh, there are three columns here in uh, the middle of the uh, main space. Uh, they are pouring this morning as well as the column. So uh, the, these uh, columns and uh, beam will be all one pour. And uh, they started back here this morning and they're coming across. And uh, they're going to end up at the uh, very front of the house. So uh, that's their goal today, to get uh, this beam on this side poured. So a viewer asked, um, will there be at least two clean outs? Uh, because you have two toilets in the house. So let me, let me explain. This is the, the spare bathroom. So there's the rough end heading towards the septic. So here's where the toilet will be for the spare bathroom. And they extended that out with a four inch pipe that goes out the side of the house. So there will be a clean out on this east side of the house uh, for this toilet. And now I'm in the uh, master bathroom, which is on the uh, west side of the, uh, of the house. So this is the uh, master bathroom. So this is where the toilet will be and it'll lead out to go to the septic this way. Uh, so they went ahead and put an air vent. There's going to be a wall here between the master and the uh, master closet. And then you can see uh, another four inch pipe that goes out the house. Um, and that'll be the uh, second clean out. So there'll be a clean out uh, for each 
side of the house for each toilet. So far so good with the uh, third vendor for the building materials. So uh, we got another load of uh, gravel today. Uh, so uh, looks like uh, we'll stick with that vendor. Okay, so we have a very light drizzle right now. Uh, so the guys pulled the tarp off the pool just to get uh, a little bit of light rain uh, to fall on this. Uh, so you can see um, from the initial pour, they jumped in and uh, did that uh, smoothing out of the concrete, working the concrete, if you will, uh, twice yesterday. So they did it one hour after it was poured. Then at the very end of the day, so they waited like maybe two more hours. And at the very end of the day, they jumped back in and did another uh, smoothing out of working the concrete. So it uh, looks real good. Um, so uh, they're, I mean, it's just, it actually stopped, but it's just starting to sprinkle a little bit here and it just stopped. But we're supposed to get uh, throughout the day just some light showers, which would be uh, good for this uh, concrete to get a little water on it uh, to cure slowly. Uh, we don't want any direct sun. And uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get any direct sun today. Uh, I mean, a little bit over there, it's breaking up, some blue skies. But, uh, you know, it would be nice uh, to have cloud cover all day and then maybe just some light rain. Uh, that would uh, be ideal. But uh, this was poured yesterday, so it's obviously in the curing stage. So I'm going to take a few minutes today and explain the back drainage of the property. Getting a lot of questions regarding uh, the shed type roof um, and how the water will shed uh, from, from that roof line. So it really starts uh, right in this area, believe it or not. The original plan was for the house to be six meters from the back of the property with a three meter dirty kitchen and then three meters of basically uh, grass to the back wall. Um, but when we dug the pool, which was supposed to be three meters this way, um, and the old subscribers uh, know this, the guys that's been with us uh, forever or anyone new wants to go back and look at the excavation videos, there was basically a school bus right there standing on end. And we took the excavator and dug to the left of this rock, thinking that we may be able to just tilt it down. But the excavator went down probably 15 feet and the rock was still going. Uh, like I said, it was like a school bus uh, standing on end. So we had two decisions to make. Well, I guess we had more than two. We could have said no pool, um, but that wouldn't be a good decision. Uh, but we could have uh, worked on breaking it up in a rock that size more than likely you would have to uh, build fire and get that rock really hot and then they pour water on it and try to crack it and then get the uh, excavator to pull it out or you could just bring a bunch of guys in with sledgehammers and mauls and just try to break it up piece by piece uh, but we said you know we do have that three meter space in the back so let's move the pool three meters. Um, so that's what we did. So that rock is right about here. Um, so we moved it three meters, which now moved the house back three meters. Um, so that starts the uh, story of uh, that back drainage. So now that you know the backstory on, on why the house is three meters from the back wall, uh, now it not all makes sense because uh, we moved the house back three meters. So we were sitting here saying, if we're going to have an overhang, and I think the original plan was 2.5 meters. If we're going to have an overhang of 2.5 meters anyway, why don't we just extend that overhang to a little over three meters and go over this wall? Um, and then all the runoff of the shed type roof uh, because again, the original plan was to have gutters and then downspouts and then drainage, you know, uh, to go on each side of the property down the wall. That was the original plan. 
Um, but we changed it because we moved the house back those three meters. And then we didn't want to deal with the gutters and everything so close to this wall. We decided we'll just put it over the wall. So to do that, um, we moved the fence two feet on this way onto my property. So the property line is 24 inches behind this wall is the property line. So the plan is, so we didn't want a lot of downspouts and you know rainwater running in the dirty kitchen area because we want to treat this as a sealed room. Um, so we decided to have the roof extend and it will be at the 10 foot mark, which is right here at that beam is the 10 foot mark. And the roof will come out and go over top of this wall. Now, I think I've mentioned it several times that this wall will go up, and I think it's six block. I think, I mean, it could be seven, but I think it's going to go six or seven blocks higher. So the natural slope of five degrees will meet that wall. And we're going to leave a few inch opening uh, because there'll be a lot of cooking going on back here. And we'll have some kind of a screen area uh, at the bottom of the roof and the top of the wall so that'll keep out insects and and things like that so basically the roof of the house is going to go over this wall all right so now i jumped up here behind the wall so this is where i just was a minute ago and uh we're going to be backfilling this wall once it's completed and we will build a concrete drainage the entire length of this wall because all the rainwater will be coming off the roof and spilling over the wall and again we wanted to keep the dirty kitchen dry so the fact that we built this wall 24 inches from the property line that gives us an opportunity to build you know like a 20 inch basically concrete drainage so it'll be built with hollow block and then poured with concrete and then we're going to render back here and put waterproofing on this wall and the rain water that will spill and it will drain to this side so there was discussion to have it higher in the middle and drain uh, left and right uh, that's still on the table um, but more than likely because that's the low side, um, this is higher here. So more than likely we will pitch it all the way to the corner of the property. So that's, uh, that's the, uh, current plan.